Well, greetings, everybody. I just want to start this off with there's a lot of hysteria about this coronavirus thing. I highly suggest you check out Dan Bongino on YouTube. Um, he's been covering it very well. He is a former federal agent for the Secret Service. He has inside information, and he also has a lot of other really good connections and resources, um, people giving him information. So check it out. He always covers it right at the beginning of his show, so you can like watch different shows in 15, 20 minutes get the information and another show 15 20 minutes but i highly suggest you check that out because <clears throat> the mainstream media <clears throat> they're lying to us <laughs> that's their job they're trying to create this panic so and they're politicizing it so check it out take care Joseph Greenbound Gold Trap. March 13th. I'm back. This is where I was last time. I think I'm going to uh, first I'll figure out where I want to do a setup and I'll get that rigged up and ready to go. But I think I'm going to do a little bit of cracking first. Through here or whatever. See what I can find. And then. See all these bigger, bigger rocks down through here. I might focus some digging in this area here. See what we can find. But it's supposed to be it's supposed to be about 50 degrees today. It was about 32 when I left. 33, 35, about 35. So we'll see what happens. And yes, Wayne, I made it. Day off. Catch you in a bit. There. That took a minute. But now, I've got a setup close to where I want to dig once I start digging in this material. Sweet. So what the dam was out like this and across, and I had my setup over there last time. So I just had to shift everything and move it over. Big deal. Alright. Running really good. Nice V on the skid plate. Good velocity going over the classification plate. Good to go. Alright. Now I'm gonna go over there and see what I can find in the in between the cracks of the rock. Back in a little while.
only got a couple pieces out of it. One really micro fine piece and a 50 mesh. But I didn't do a whole lot. It's all pretty solid still. I could go up in here if I wanted to, but I want to get to moving some material. So I'm going to get doing that now. Catch you after a while. See the gold trap's no longer there. I ended up moving it over there. So first I started out with a, a little bit of just for the fun of it over where my bucket is. Breaking some bedrock. Got a couple little pieces. That was just for the fun of it. Then I said I wanted to come over here, which I did. As I was moving bigger rocks out of the way to clear the surface. I was finding, you know, good sized hunks of hematite, pieces of metal, you know, heavies and stuff like that that had dropped out. So I dug for about a half an hour there, did a clean out, and I got, I think there was like seven or eight, maybe a few more, decent sized pieces, mostly bigger stuff, um, a little bit of small stuff. So the gold is there, it might be down deeper and it probably goes along in here. So today's been kind of a day of discovery based on what I found last fall, late last fall, just before everything started freezing. I knew the gold was over here, but before I came over here and moved this, I went ahead and dug, dug right down in here. A lot of heavies, a lot of black sand, but very, very little gold, and all of it was really small. So then I said, well, finish off the day over here where I know there is gold, and I dug for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. This is right where the trench was, Steve. Right where the trench was. Fifteen minutes. Sixty-eight pieces in fifteen minutes. So everything came around this corner and just dropped right in this area. 
Yes, there is gold that came down through here also. A lot of bigger boulders in this gravel bar, boulder bar. And way down there, on the other corner, that's some serious uh, pile up of boulders down there, and that's real bony. But give me a minute and I'll dump the rest of the gold in my snuffer bottle in the pan. Be right back. Okay. This is everything for the day. Not too bad. Bought a little stuff, some bigger pieces. There's uh 120 plus in there. Right there. Yep. That's not too bad. Just farting around. And I really can't help but wonder. Gotta be careful right here because this is a nice current up there where we did our first 50-50 gold rush. That's really uh, <coughs> a lot of, a lot got deposited there when that land got wiped out. It's really, uh, <laughs> really hard digging, but that might be interesting. All right. So, I might take a walk around before I leave, see what I can see for interesting. But that's going to conclude today. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you to my subscribers. You guys make this channel what it is. Appreciate every one of you, part of the Green Mountain Gold Trap family. Those of you who have not subscribed, please do so. Like, share, and comment, and all that good stuff. Take care, everybody.